If this Chevy Malibu was going any slower, it would be standing still. Yet this six mile per hour crash test caused $3,500 worth of damage. It's ridiculous that you get thousands of dollars damage in three or six mile an hour collisions. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety tested six mid-sized cars at those low speeds and all needed pricey repairs. From around $1,500 for a Mazda 6 and Honda Accord in these crashes to more than $2,400 for the Nissan Maxima and Ford Fusion in rear enders. It doesn't have to be this way, and it didn't used to be this way. He's right. This 1981 Ford Escort incurred only $86 in damage in a recent test. So this entire unit is new. We'll Mark Boudreau owns a collision repair shop in Arlington, Virginia. Ladies. Does this mean that bumpers are less safe than they used to be? No, cars are far safer than they've ever been. But as we've improved the number of technologies that vehicles have, those technologies have to be crammed somewhere in the car. Not as much on the back, but in the front of the vehicle, there's less distance between the edge of that bumper and where these very expensive components reside. Defending the Malibu's hefty repair bill, GM told CBS News its focus is on occupant protection and crash avoidance. Why not make a bumper that's just a little stronger that can withstand a little fender bender? Mm -hmm. Depends on what you want. Would you like a less expensive car that weighs less, that has a lot of great options on it and features, or would you like a bumper that's going to absorb more energy, costs more, weighs more, and gets less mileage? In general, he says, if you want to spend less on repairs, buy a cheaper car, because the replacement parts are cheaper too. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Arlington, Virginia.